All right, time to move on. I have my intake here, or at least part of it, and some goodies that I ordered. Let's go through them. In here we have ah, the auto switch. Oh, and the gasket, and it's yes, well, very nice of them to supply me with all the uh, extra pieces that I really don't need. Ooh, that one's not been punched out properly. Come on now. There we go, thank you. Okay, a nice new otter switch. Now, those of you that sharp-eyed will notice in my previous video, the otter switch I had had two terminals. It had obviously been replaced with an E-type one, which is incorrect. So now I do have the correct one. Next, we have... A thermostat gasket. Nice new gasket. And what do we have here? Yummy yum yums. I love getting new parts. Aha! We have the nice new thermostat housing. Look at that. Pristine. I think all I need to do for that is give it a clean up and a quick coat of lacquer. Here, I have the thermostat, correct temperature setting for this particular model. All right, that's good. Next, what is this little beastie? Aha, temperature sender unit. We all know where that goes, don't we? Yes, in that lovely hole that I tapped. And finally, the outlet. Hmm. I need a copper washer somewhere here. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. I have a bag of copper washers. So find the right one that fits that, then screw it in. Oh, that worried me for a second there. I didn't think it was going to fit. All right. Um, and all of these were supplied by Mr. SNG Barrett. Uh, you know, um, don't get paid for this, guys, but they're always very helpful. And uh, I speak to Frank Rivera. So if ever you guys need any parts, give s and Barrett a call and ask for Mr. Frank Rivera. Not sure what his uh, phone number is, but never mind. That I'm sure you can find out when you get online. Right, that's it for the moment. So now it's uh, time to uh, start. Right, I have now completed everything on this part of the intake manifold. The other part is down the machine shop being skimmed. I have a new sender in, I have two new chromed bolts here. I have a new water uh, inlet and uh, the water inlet and outlet here and a new otter switch. And inside there is a new thermostat. So we have everything done ready on this. Uh, I will get my other piece back tomorrow, then blast it and then put the two together. So uh, here we are looking quite good. As I said, not perfect, but looking pretty good. All right. Uh, one other thing I do have, I'm just going to mention it just in case someone out there wants it. I'm putting this on eBay. Um, I have ended up with a spare one. I'm not quite sure how, but I ended up with a spare one of these. So, uh, if any of you guys is looking for one of these, uh, check it out on eBay. And uh, you will uh, be able to bid on it. Okay, yes, it's not polished. You're going to have to do that yourself. Well, part and parcel of the uh, intake manifold is the carburetors. Now, these are the original carburetors from my car. They are approximately an inch and a half across here. But as you can see, I have a couple of other carburetors. And these are two inch. And as you can see, the chamber's much bigger. So 
I'm not sure yet which ones I want to fit onto my car. This one here um, is a, as you can see, damaged one. Um, I've just hung on to it for spare parts. Um, I'll probably just chuck it on eBay for a few bucks. And I've got a, another float chamber in here and a couple of other carburetor bits. Uh, as I said, not sure what I'm going to do. Obviously, I have to clean all this up and paint it and repair these pipes and put nice new clips on and generally make it look pretty. Uh, it is a dilemma. If I decide to put these on, I'm going to have to do some modifications because I do have the starter carburetor on this one and this I believe uses a totally different starter carburetor I believe these are from an XJ6 and obviously this is off of my Mark II these are quite a few years later but that doesn't mean I can't use them so uh, hey if you guys have got some thoughts on this I'd love to hear it um, I haven't decided yet um, what I'm going to do next is start cleaning everything up make everything look pretty fix this clean this all up and powder coat it uh, get some nice new pipe because I'm sure if I bend that enough it'll break so uh, yep this is gonna be fun gonna get myself some I can get some clear fuel I don't know where I can get that it must be somewhere I can get it and I'm sure I don't know maybe moss or someone like that will have it and this of course is just normal fuel line down here brittle as hell as you can see <laughs> and these have these style of uh, throttle needles and jets on not sure about this yet we'll see I'm gonna uh, get myself some decent cleaner to put in my ultrasonic cleaner but it's got to be something that doesn't harm aluminium or make it go dark and I don't know what chemical to use guess I'll have to look online and of course again guys if you have any ideas as to what to use in an ultrasonic cleaner that doesn't harm aluminum and aluminium aluminum I would love to hear it all right I'm gonna post this one out there now just so I can get your thoughts it's a very short video um, hope you're enjoying them I'm enjoying making them and as always please like subscribe and ding that bell so that you know when I do another crappy video <laughs> Uh, stay well, people, in this crazy time.